Well, here's today's project. This is the elevator off of an optical comparator I bought at an auction. And the primary lens was missing. Nobody could find it, so it had no value. There's a, a base that I've had laying around. This sleeve goes up in here on the optical comparator. And this is the stock I'm gonna fix. Well, this is just some cold roll. So it's not even, it's, it's like 1.016 inches. And these holes, this is an important one. This one's kind of beat up, I gotta turn that. But the important sizes on these are just like five, six thousandths under one inch. So we're going to turn this piece of coal roll down. And then it's going to go into there. Something like that. And that will hold this. When I put it, got it put together, will be about like this. And what I'm making here, I have to route, I have to put a slot in some long lumber. So what I'm making is an overarm router holder. And the router will mount in here. I'll be able to adjust left to right for exact what I need. This pivots and this will pivot so I can actually swing it and gain closer than say this distance here. I can probably only get that router bit to about here. Maybe here. But if I swing it and swing that, I can bring it all the way back to here. And I have infinitely adjustable height. I'm only doing, you know, a couple inch lumber. But the idea is to get this done and use it and not modify this because I have a lot have had many plans for this. I just haven't had the heart to do any cutting on it. And uh, I'm not gonna. I'll modify other things to fit it. And that's what I'm about to do. Well, that came out better than I thought it would actually. What it turned out Right here, and on both ends of this, they were slightly mushroomed. So all I had to do was open the ends up, and the shaft fit fine. There was a dent on the end of the shaft. So I had to turn on that a little bit to screw it up. But this is how the, this is the gist of how it works. This, uh, I'll mount my router onto here. And this goes on the saw table here. And then, because all this, this swivels too, it's just tight right now. So I can rock and kind of Z this thing to get as close up to here as I need to. Okay, I just took it over to the saw. I'm going to change my plan a little bit. I'm going to make a bracket that holds the router and put it on this end. I'm going to use this. This is It's too heavy here. It has to be quite rigid though. I'm not worried about that. Well, I'll mount this so all the weight is on the fixed end. Just mount the router onto that. That'll uh, 
should be a lot stronger if I went the way I originally intended I have a lot of weight hanging out out here I don't need it bouncing around so we'll see how it works when I get the router hooked up